Hi writers, welcome back to Writing Workshop. Remember that story we read yesterday, Night of the Veggie Monster? That was a small moment story, a true story that happened to George McClements. Now, remember after the story, we talked about it and we talked about why it was a small moment. It was a small moment because George was talking about just dinner time and eating those peas. That's it. He wasn't talking about anything that came before dinner or anything that came after dinner. He was zooming in on one small moment. Okay, and he was adding all those extra details and stretching out his story even though it was still focused in on eating just those peas. And that's what we're going to do in Writer's Workshop. We are going to think of our own small moments and we're gonna zoom in. We don't want a watermelon story. We want the seed of a watermelon. We wanna zoom in on one small thing that happened. It might be something happy, it might be something sad, it might be something exciting. That's up to you because you're the author, okay? So today I wanna teach you that writers have to do something before they actually start writing, especially when we're new writers, okay? So writers first have to think. They need to think of a small moment or what is it that they're going to write about? Then they need to plan. Planning is very important. And I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes. And then they write. So we think, we plan, we write. So let's start by thinking. And I'm gonna think about my own small moments. I could write about, I can write about the time when I stepped out of the shower and I wrapped my hair in a towel and this big, hairy, million-legged bug fell out of the towel onto me. It was disgusting. And I screamed. And it only lasted about one minute. Not even probably. But I could write about that because it's a small moment. I could zoom in on those feelings that I had, that fear. I was so grossed out. Or I could write about the other night. When I got up in the middle of the night, it was like two in the morning. My son had woken up and I had to go downstairs to get a bottle. And as I was going downstairs, all of our Halloween animatronics outside were going off. And it was very spooky because I don't know why they were going off. And I was scared. So I could write about that. Or... <sighs> Or I could think of a happy moment this weekend where my sons were painting pumpkins. And it was actually my littlest son's first time painting a pumpkin and he absolutely loved it. So that brought a lot of joy. So I could write about that. So those are three examples of small moments. Now remember, I'm not writing about the entire day or an entire week, okay? I'm zooming in on a few minutes and really stretching those details out and adding in the feelings and the describing words, okay? So we think, I thought. The next thing, we plan, and we plan across pages, kind of like a storybook, okay? So you're gonna be getting pages like this, and they'll say beginning, and then the next page will say middle, and then the last page will say end, because books happen across pages. And they've got a spot for pictures and lines for your words. And remember that your words should go with your picture. Okay, so we wanna think about what happens in the beginning, what happens in the middle, and what happens at the end. So let's see. I think I am going to write about the scary noises that happened in the middle of the night. Dun, dun, dun. That would be a good title, right? So. I might say in the beginning, and I'm not gonna actually write just because of time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my story to you and you can listen. And watch as I touch each page and I tell my story because you're gonna do this too before you actually write. It was two o'clock in the morning. Braden was crying for a bottle. So I went downstairs. All of our Halloween animatronics 
we're going off. The scary bird skeleton, the bat, the howling dog, the spooky jack-o'-lanterns. I was scared. I ran to the kitchen, filled up his bottle as fast as I could, and ran back upstairs. Whew, I don't know why they were going off. So I talked to you about my beginning, my middle, and my end. And by touching each page and telling each part, you'll make sure that you have a beginning, middle, and end because that's really important as a writer, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you one more example of a beginning, middle, and end that a first grader wrote, okay? So here we go, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna read off of my book, but I'm gonna touch each page as I do it. When I was riding my bike with my friends, I fell down and I started to cry. It hurt very bad. I had to get a bandage. My mom took me inside. I watched some TV and I said, cool. So again, it was a small moment. The story probably took place within five or 10 minutes. It wasn't about the whole day. It wasn't about a week. It was about this child falling off their bike, getting a bandage and feeling better. Beginning, middle and end. So writers, that's what you're gonna do today. You're going to think about something you can write about. And that's the hardest part sometimes. But because it's going to be something that happened to you, it might be a little easier. So we're gonna think, we're going to plan by touching and saying what happened. And then you're going to write. And we're going to try to write one or two sentences per page. So one or two for the beginning, one or two for the middle, and one or two for the end. Don't forget, all sentences get capital letters at the beginning, punctuation marks at the end, and finger spaces between each word. I can't wait to hear your stories. Good luck.